name's Cindy Lay and I play football for the National Training Centre Victoria. I'm in year eight and I go to Penley and Essendon Grammar School. My background is Chinese Timorese. I was born in East Timor and my grandparents were from China. I've been playing since I was eight for Altona City Soccer Club for two years in the under nines and under tens league and then I moved to Sunshine George Cross for and I played there for three years and now I'm playing for National Training Centre. I started playing football with my best friend as she let, told me to play join a, join a club. We played at school mostly and I, I enjoyed it there so I just joined the club. Oh, she was have a kick the balls and her dad said that she's very good at that so she's decided with her friend to join the club and it's a bit hard for me to say that if the girls playing soccer because most of the East Timor's people the boy playing soccer not the girls. When I look at her and she is quite good so I have to change my mind and I to, to support her. Well, I enjoy the tech technical side of the game, thinking where to pass the ball and controlling the ball as and it also it is also fun keep and keeps me occupied. Opportunities and benefits I get from playing football is that you, you get respect from other people as well as getting you can get scholarships from schools so it will help you in the future. She got a scholarship to go to the grammar school and also like she got a lot of friends around her that really like her and she's very enjoying as well. The scholarship I got for, for Penley Anderson Grammar is a full scholarship till year 12 and it's just a soccer scholarship. Oh yeah, it was pretty difficult for me to play football because I was the only one from East Timor. My family background from Chinese Timorese and I'm living in Australia for 12 years and I'm arriving in Australia as a refugee. The language is very difficult with the language, like when you arrive in a new country and you don't know how to speak English, it's the hard part. Cultural challenges was, well, when I came to Australia, not many people from my nationality playing soccer like girls not playing soccer much. For myself and then I understand now like the kids is alright, I mean the girls is alright to play soccer. Like my mom she won't be able to let the girls play soccer even until now. Because a lot of my friends, a couple of my girlfriends that have religion things that they're not allowed the girls to go to the swimming or playing sport, it's not appropriate clothes. I think as a parent, like it's you know better than your child, so you have to go to the coach, just tell them, oh, because of my religion, they know I'm allowed to wear too short, for example, the pants, because of the culture or belief that it's not appropriate way to wear it. I need support from family, friends, coaches and everything, everyone around me, as well as I need to believe in myself and keep focus. As a parent, you have to put a lot of effort and dedication in to support your child in, to achieve their goals. Or they are involved by um, taking me to training sessions as well as games and they analyse the game so they can tell me the mistakes I made. Most of the parents come and watch but then sometimes if they don't um, the parents don't watch their, their, some, their friend's mum will take them. So the, as well as the kids getting along, parents get along as well. They should understand what their cultures, um, cultures are, as well as the boundaries of the cultures. The parents should know what the the kid, the daughter or son is doing, as because the coaches may tell them off, but then he's saying it in a good way. As a coach, you have to be very friendly with the 
parents, like some parents, they know like in in Australia, where I say, hi, how are you? They have to be a bit quiet. So as a coach, you have to go there and to say hi to them, make them welcome to the club. As Muslims, they, they don't let their coaches touch each other, but as well as the, so they, the coaches have to respect that rule. The clubs can help people from other cultures to play sport by um, getting to know them as well as getting introducing them to other parents or staff members or committee uh, so they can they don't feel they feel comfortable around each other. Um, I feel very, very proud the way that my daughter play. Like she can challenge the ball, and she's very happy, and she's very good at the field. With her school, she's going, she's doing very, very well. But I have to, like, I'm tell that you're doing well with the school. I mean, with the sport, but you have to doing well with the school as well. Like you never know one day you can't reach the high, but you know you're smart enough to do something else. I like to play, um, play in a World Cup or a few World Cups if possible.